Hello everybody and welcome to part 66 of Let's Play Stardew Valley. I don't really feel like getting up. Can I can I just stay here? <laughs> oh gosh. Today is the first day of fall. We have so much to plan, so much to prepare for the new season. As usual, I already made my shopping list. Everything is all set and ready to go. I have all the seeds that I already have for the season over here in my inventory, ready to go. We just need to prepare the plots and water them. And plant stuff, of course, but... <laughs> It's gonna be a fully packed day. I am scared. Anyways, good morning, Alex. Well, summer's over, but I'm going to stay positive. The warmer seasons will always return. Oh, that's absolutely true, even though I do love fall. Let's go see. We have a new Living Up Land episode. If you manage to get your hands on a rare seed, now's the time to plant it. Although it's said to take all season to grow, reliable sources have told me it actually just takes 24 days. The end result is rumored to be the sweetest fruit in the entire world. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, thing is, I forgot to do it, <laughs> so no can do. All my fortune? Neutral. Okay, you know what? It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my gosh, I have so much to do. <sighs> Let, let's breed. You know, the music is not helping. I know it's the calmest music we have in game, but it's not working. Like, hello, I'm stressed. <laughs> I don't know, nothing puts me more in the mood to plant than the festival game music. Yep, nothing puts me more in the mood to plant than a ticking clock going off in the background. <laughs> chop chop, we got, got lots to do. But yeah, I have the shopping list all ready to go. I made also a list for things for us to do in this today's part. I feel like it's always best if I do that. It just keeps the part and the video, you know, somewhat organized. Even though in my head everything is just an awful mess. Also, uh, as you can see, some of the buildings that I have on my farm have changed. Uh, I removed the mod that I had, just because since now we can color our, our buildings, maybe I can do something pretty. I don't know, lately I've been leaning more towards vanilla gameplay. I wish the Genimos would help us. <laughs> Planting stuff. Just put seeds in their huts and they'll do it. <laughs> they'll do all the work for you. Oh, poor things. Okay, all done. Oh, I still need to water everything, but let's go to Pierre. Let's go buy whatever we need. Uh, there's a few things that I want to get from the desert, but we'll do that tomorrow. There's no rush for those crops as of yet. And to be honest, uh, we're probably gonna still be planting some stuff on day two. I have a lot that I want to do when it comes to planting stuff. Let's see. When it comes to the crops that we're gonna be getting, I want a ton of pumpkins. I need 199 pumpkins, and that's already taking into account the ones that I already have on me. <laughs> Boom, 208. Now, I need some quality fertilizer. Since I'm not gonna do anything with the pumpkins, I'm just gonna sell them straight away. I want them to be the highest quality because that way I can make the most money. And yes, quality fertilizer is a little pricey, but I do have some on me already. 20. <laughs> so, you know, it shouldn't cost us that much. But even if it does, it's fine. We do have the money and we're just maximizing our profits. Now, I'm gonna need 24 cranberries. I'm gonna need 8 bok choy, 8 artichoke, just 5 yams, you know, 4 fairy roses, 12 amaranth, which I did not remember the name of and I just wrote it as purple hay on my list. <laughs> you know that purple hay, <laughs> I need some. And in order to make the cranberries and the fairy roses grow faster, I am gonna be getting some speed growth as well. I don't know if it's gonna affect the cranberries growth like a lot, but it should help us with the fairy roses because the faster they grow, the faster we'll get fairy rose honey. And that way it's even more profit we can make. So we're gonna need 28 and boom, we're all ready to go. <laughs> I spent quite a bit of money. 
It kind of saddens me that I cannot like upgrade anything at the moment. I could upgrade my sheds, but like I don't even have them filled up with kegs to <laughs> want to upgrade them further. One thing that I would really like to upgrade is my house, but like I'm saving the hardwood for release boats, which I'm really hoping I can get that done by the end of this month because it would be good to have something to do throughout winter. You know, last winter we had the desert, but this time around I would like something new to explore. And who knows where Willy's boat is gonna take us. All done with the pumpkins, now let's... Ooh, let me actually do this, because I don't know what the heck happened to the path over here. <laughs> I'm gonna plant the cranberries over here, and... For the fairy roses, which I forgot to prepare the plots, you know what, give me a second. I'm just gonna plant one on each little corner over here. Because the thing is, we don't really need to fill this up entirely with fairy roses. As long as we don't plant any other flowers in here, the bee houses are only gonna detect the fairy roses and that's all the honey we're gonna get. So instead, I'm gonna plant some amaranth. And I forgot to use fertilizer. Okay, I can still salvage it. <laughs> Just gonna plant some amaranth over here, right next with the fairy roses, like that. And now, we have the yams. I'm actually gonna destroy this corn, or shouldn't I do that? I don't know. I don't want corn. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's okay, whatever. Uh, things will grow and I guess I'll just save the seeds for when the things grow. To replant some more. Should have planted the bok choy instead of the artichoke, but oh well, there you have it. I'm gonna save these for later, I guess. And now I just need to water everything, and it's already 5, well, almost 6 pm. I think I'm screwed. <laughs> I don't know, we could still do it. I just cannot lose focus and water something that I shouldn't have. Uh, <laughs> quick! Did the music stop? Oh no, no, it's just starting over. I was like, is it getting that dark that I can't play music out? Oh shoot, here we go. <laughs> and for those of you that say, maybe you should like turn on the red box, but like I'm still gonna mess up with the red square indicating where I'm watering. Do you think I'm paying attention to that? I just need to water things fast. I don't care what I'm clicking. <laughs> Which, by the way, you can toggle that on and off if you press the um, shift key. So, yeah, if you keep that pressed, you walk very slowly and you see the red square. So you don't need to go to the option menu to turn that on. There we go again. <laughs> Wasting my water. Gosh, my nose is itchy. This is not the time. Like, having a Persian cat in the house is not not good. Not as good as you think it is. <laughs> like, ever since Lily moved into the house, my sinusitis has been getting worse. Because apparently, um, it can get worse with cat fur. And I didn't know that. <laughs> then again, I only found out I had sinusitis when I did an MRI last year. I know by then I already had Lily, so there was no take backs. I couldn't really take her back to my cousin in Switzerland. Oh, the preserved jars are ready. I don't know if I have time <laughs> to fill you guys up. I mean, I'm almost done, but it's already 10 p.m. and I'm just a little worried. Oh my gosh, I did it. Is it all watered? Come here. <laughs> Come here, Daisy. Yes, okay. It is all done. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, in that case, let me go pick up the cranberries that I have over here in this chest. Gonna put them in the preserve jar. I still have so many from last year. That is wild. Oh, also a keg? Sheesh, hold up. Star fruit, here we go. I actually wonder if the kegs I have in my shed are done as well. Let me go pick up star fruit. Also, if I still have time, I would really like to go collect some hardwood. <laughs> I doubt it, but I would still like to try. 
Yeah, it's done. <laughs> do you think I can do it? This might be a big mistake. Gosh, it's getting late. <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this. I mean, we're gonna find out once and for all if two hours is enough. <laughs> To get to the secret woods and return home safely. Oh, well, now that I think about it, it might be like a terrible idea because I don't have the slime ring. These guys are gonna be annoying. I'm gonna leave that one. <laughs> I don't care too much about it. Bye! Don't attack me, please. Bye. Oh, that was close. One hour. One hour remaining. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow completely exhausted now that I look at my energy bar. Do I care? No. Because we got hardwood. At least 10 pieces. You know what? That's something. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. Good morning. Good morning. Good night, Pahua. I'm used to petting you in the morning. <laughs> I'm tired. Let's go to sleep. And today we can relax a little bit, uh, but not fully because we do have still quite a bit to do. Let's go see the fortune teller. It is Penny's birthday. Oh snap. I'll give her an emerald. Hello, Alex. I got up early and fed all farm animals. I hope it makes your job your job a little easier today. I also feel Papa's waterfall. Oh, thank you. Hey, maybe it's the golden light, but you look beautiful today. Alex. Oh, let me get you an egg. Calm down. <laughs> Hold up. Wait, not a duck egg. It needs to be a good egg. You're really in quality. Where are my good eggs? <laughs> Oh, there's quite a lot. There we go, we got one. Oh, I need to turn off the music. <laughs> it's over. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here you go, Alex. You are welcome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell the wine that I have on me. The cranberry jelly that I didn't sell yesterday because I was running out of time. <laughs> you understand. Let me go pick up the, an emerald for Penny and now we can take a look around our farm. Oh, let me actually move the signs. <laughs> they should be like right next to the door. That way you can see them. Yeah, that way it looks a little better. Let's go take a look at the inside the greenhouse. We have more strawberries, more ancient fruits. You guys think any of these are gold quality? No? You. Come on! You know, it's okay. These two over here are ready to go. Hopefully tomorrow they'll be fully grown. Also, we should go to the town because we probably have some new special orders to pick from. You know, my storage have been very quiet after I gave them the free Omnigeodes. They're supposed to produce caviar. <laughs> what is that? Huh? Oops. Didn't mean to lock you out. Huh, I should make more mayo machines, honestly. There's so many eggs. I picked up way too many. Then I can turn it into mayo. You know, it's okay. It's cool. Good morning. Oops. Good morning. <laughs> Do you guys have any wool inside? I think I saw some, yeah. Let's make some fabric. Come on. No, no. <laughs> you thought. I actually want to do something over here in this area. Because we do have our mill over here. We've never used it before. And it would be nice to have like a farming area dedicated to product, to produce that we're going to put in the mill eventually. And if you've taken a look at my farm planner, which I have it linked in the video description, the idea is there. I just need to make it happen. And hopefully today I'll get started with that. Um, let me just go to my barn. 
check on my animals here. We have some truffles. Okay, so first things first, let me go see what I need to make some more main machines. I can probably fit four more over here. Hmm. I need copper bars. Okay, that should be easy enough. I have so much ore and I just don't smelt it. <laughs> I forget to do it. Oh, look at the copper we have. Afterwards, maybe let's smelt some iridium. These should be done in no time. They're quite fast to produce. Yep, just 30 minutes. So, only one? I need stone? Shoot. Well, I'm honestly kind of hoping that one of the um, special orders we have today is the one from Robin that tells us to, like, farm a load of stone. It's just such a good quest. We farm resources for ourselves, we don't need to give the stone to Robin. And we, we get a prize at the end as well. <laughs> oh, I also need to go to the desert to buy some beets. Let's see if I remember to do that. And possibly maybe some star fruit as well. Hmm. Oh. So from Gunter, we have fragments of the past. Calling all amateur paleontologists. I need 100 pieces of bone for my studies. Please drop them off at, at the museum counter. And from Clint's cave patrol. The number of skeletons in local caves have made mining dangerous. For other people, not me. There's good money for anyone willing to slay 50 of them. Um, this is pretty much the same quest. <laughs> well, guess what we're gonna be doing this week? Killing a whole lot of skeletons for bones. Hmm, do I have... I don't think I do. Hmm, I'm gonna have to do Clint's quest sometime later because I'm kind of more interested in Gunter's uh, reward that we got from completing this quest, so... That's what I'm gonna pick. Uh... Hopefully we'll be able to do it without any issues. Let me see if Penny is over at the museum. She is. And this is where we're gonna drop the, the skeleton bones once we have them. Here you go, Penny. Happy birthday. We got six hearts with her. I'm tutoring this in a jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Let's keep going. Uh, I might go ahead and go to the woods already to collect the hardwood before I forget. And then, if I get any seeds, I'm gonna go up to my tree farm, see how things are doing there, see if anything has grown so far. Ooh, ooh, but one thing that I kinda want to do, actually. Martin is not working, of course not. Well, <laughs> anyways. I'll do it some other day, I guess. Don't bother me. No, no, no. What part of no don't you understand? I got a one seed. No, 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 no. And we got 22. And just one seed. But you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, so just one more tree fertilizer for the time being. I have 76 hardwoods so far. So I have a long way to go. But let me go see if Pam is still working the buzz. I need to go to the desert ASAP. She is. Let's get going. Ooh, it's new. It's been a while since I found something new. Let me pick up the cactus fruit. Honestly, maybe even the coconut. Oh, and we can find out what this item exactly is, the club card. Let me just go buy 16 beads. They take six days to mature, maybe. I'll buy a bit more. And star fruit. I'm gonna buy maybe 60. That should do it. And now, let's go talk to this guy over here. <gasps> Is that a club card? That's right. <laughs> now step aside, blockhead. Oh boy. You may enter. <laughs> I actually want to get Sandy's reaction. What happened? You're a club member? I sure am. <laughs> Apparently I am. Let's go see what this is about. Okay. We're here. <laughs> hmm. 
It's Mr. Queen. It's good to finally meet you, kid. Welcome to my exclusive clubhouse. You caught a spark. That's why I singled you out. What spark? Huh, the conduit of mystery, of arts. People like us have a responsibility to keep the world alive, to give folks a taste of the extraordinary. You see, kid, the world's like a bowl of rice. It's got substance, but it ain't worth nothing without a good zesty sauce. That's where we come in. Didn't you ever wonder who put those treasure chests in the old mine shaft? I like to give people surprises. Ooh. You'll understand some days. Just keep doing your best and never give up. Okie dokie. So we can buy quick coins over here. We can play. <laughs> We can gamble, um, lose miserably, and go home and cry. Well, Wick, it's now my lucky day. Oh, I drink too much. But yeah, the main goal... Ooh, later. <laughs> later, skater. We have our stats over here. Oh man, I cooked a lot <laughs> since I moved to the valley. Nice, very nice. You know, the fish that I caught and the lines that I cast is not like a, a big number apart, which makes me kind of happy. <laughs> but the main point with the casino is to buy some quick coins, gamble, and then spend the coins that you get over here with the prizes. And one item that I really want actually is this rare crow. I love it. Everything else, I kind of don't care. <laughs> Should I play one game? <laughs> I'm not very good. And it's also not a very lucky day. <sighs> Still. Let's see. <laughs> Wanna play some Calico Jack? This is the 100 coin table. What are the rules, mister? Remind me. Lily. <laughs> the objective is to get as close to 21 as possible. Card range. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's play. Hmm. Hit me with one more. Stand. Uh. I win! Uh, double or nothing. Okay. <laughs> Hit. Hit. Stand. I'm scared. <laughs> No winner. Oh, frick. New game. Stand. <laughs> oh, you son of a gun. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not about to lose my coins that I bought. Okay, Sandy, I'm going home. <laughs> She's so shocked. Oh, I wonder what that is over there. Ooh. I already found it. Let's pick up the cactus fruit and we shall get going back home. Still have a lot to do. So I think I'm gonna work first on uh, the little mill farm that I'm gonna do. Let me just see if I have any sprinklers. Probably not. I think I have them in my greenhouse. Let's make two. I can only make one. <laughs> Shoot! Well, at least I can make two iridium sprinklers, which is better than nothing for my greenhouse. Let me take a look. Hmm, I can remove this one. Okay, done. Easy peasy. So I'm gonna start placing the iridium sprinklers. Uh, they need to be four blocks away from each other. Four tiles, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> And the star fruit that we're gonna get from the greenhouse is gonna be used for our kegs. We're eventually gonna have a lot more kegs than the ones that we do currently. But for the time being, it's gonna be for profits. Oh, dude, I messed up. Wait, 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 wait. Should we be over here? Hmm. Should I use fertilizer? I have some, just not a whole lot. Guess I can use some okay should i plant the rest maybe let's do it i don't care 
Okay, this is all... well, I can plant some more actually. Right over here, and another one over here. Oh gosh, it's already seven. Oh, okay, let's see. I'm gonna gather up the wood that I have currently. Because I'm gonna need to plan out what exactly I'm gonna do with the farm. Maybe I can make another sprinkler. Hmm, let me see. First I need to work on this. Maybe I have some path inside my house in the chest. Let me check. No? Nothing? Maybe in the chest outside. <laughs> Don't you just love to see me going around in circles? <laughs> yep, I do have some. This is why you check people. <laughs> so we're gonna have the path over here. Um no sprinkler over here, another one over here. Boom boom. Now we need some more of this path. And hopefully I can plant down here. Like I really hope I can. Need two more. Boom! And now we can start planting. Yes, we can plant here, even though I can't see anything. <laughs> That's the only downside to this. Let's go plant the beets. Do I want to water them? I guess I can. I have time, I think. <laughs> okay, all done. Now, oh, I'm actually gonna need to get um, a scarecrow to put down there. We don't want anything getting our crops. Luckily, I do have quite a few scarecrows over here. There we go. And now, we're finally gonna check our tree farm, see if anything has grown, and plant this seed that we got. Oh, we got quite a few! Oh, that is exciting! And another seed. Shoot, I don't have fertilizer. Can I put fertilizer, like, after the trees have started to grow a little bit? And another seed. Oh, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Oh, look, I can replant everything all over again. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, shoot! I'm gonna blame this on spirits. <laughs> it is not a lucky die. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Let me go smelt some more stuff over here. Why do I have copper bars in here? <laughs> Hold up. Okay, I think I got everything into place. Let's go to bed. And I don't know if I'm gonna record tomorrow. I mean, we only have this quest to do. I could work a little bit on it off camera. But then again, lately, whenever I say I'm gonna play off camera, I never do. <laughs> See, but there's a few things that I wanna do, like organize my chess again, which I've done before on camera. It's not gonna be interesting to watch again, I don't think so. I mean, do we have any birthdays coming up? Hmm, we have Elliot's. I could come back then. But then again, I'm not making any promises whatsoever. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next one, goodbye everybody. Take care.